Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 4 of how you unlock the Phantom Bow in Battlefield 4. I've broken this down as much as I can to make sure it's easily digestible for everybody who wants to unlock the Phantom Bow. The previous three episodes are linked in the description, and they show you the easiest way to unlock the bow going through the three different assignments. The Phantom Prospect, the Phantom Trainee, and the Phantom Initiate. All of those need to be completed before you can go on to the next stage. So hopefully, by now, you have unlocked those three assignments. You've got your hands on the Phantom Prospect dog tag, you've managed to get your way through the second assignment, and get the weapon paint that you need, the Phantom weapon paint, and the final assignment to get your hands on the Phantom camo for your soldier. All of those need to be equipped when you try and go into the elevator. There's a little bit more that you need to do before that though, and this is where you need to pay a little bit of attention to make sure you know how to make that elevator work. Just before we move on though, I would like to say a massive thank you to Danny on PC and Sharpshooter for helping me collect the footage for today's video. Uh, without them, I wouldn't have enough footage to put into the video. Uh, they had some different points of view and they managed to collect different dog tags. So thank you very much for supplying that footage. The links are in the description to their channels, you really should go and check them out. On the screen right now, you're going to see a picture of four dog tags. Each of these are located on one of the maps in Final Stand, in random locations once the map has started. If you've unlocked all three of the previous assignments, you will have the ability to see these small little boxes located in random sections on the map. Now at any one time, the tags have spawned at a random location, and that can be upwards of 25 locations per map in the DLC. Now once you've got one of these boxes, what you need to do is you need to knife it. If the tags are inside, you'll see the small tags on the floor underneath where you've just knifed the box. If you push E to interact on the keyboard, or whatever the button is on console, then you will get that dog tag and you get to keep it. Now as I've said, there are four of them, and this could take a really long time for you to actually try and find them. So to make it a little bit easier, the guys over in Reddit have managed to pull together as many locations as they have so far of where people have confirmed to be getting these tags from. So that's linked in the description. It's all with pictures, so it's really easy for you to see some of these locations that you need to go to. One thing I will stress is that you have to be in a public server for this to happen. So you need to search for these whilst people are having a round of conquest all around you, which can make it even more difficult because you're essentially a target to your enemy at the same time. A lot of people have been getting annoyed at getting killed, that's just part of the game, and this is just part of the assignment. So, tough luck if you don't want to be killed, it's going to happen multiple times. Now once you've got your hands on one of these dog tags, of course there are four. And that means, well, somebody figured out, that you need to have four people, each with one of those dog tags equipped, alongside the Phantom Prospect dog tag, the Weapon Paint, and the phantom camo for your soldier to be able to get into the elevator at the back of hangar 21. This is where you get access to the weapon room. Once all four of you are in, you're able to push the button and you will start to descend through the levels. It will stop on each floor, the lights will go out, and it will test to see whether you've got the things necessary to get through to the next part. Once you get all the way to the bottom, you'll be able to access the phantom room. There is one final stage though. Once you make your way out of that elevator, you're going to notice a small keypad on the right hand side of the room and a force field in front of you. Obviously, you're going to have to enter a code to be able to get through. Now this code was found by Battle Rush Gaming, I'll link his channel in the description, and he's some kind of wizard because he managed to figure it all out extremely quickly. On all four maps, there are four locations with an emitter that emits a Morse code, which he managed to get from beeps into Morse code in the first place, and then managed to put it together in the right order to be able to open the Phantom Room finally. So the code that you need is now on screen and has been for about the last 20 seconds. That is the code that you need to enter into the keypad, and then after that, you will finally have access to the Phantom Bow. Make your way around into the room, you can go and pick it up, and you can start using it. So there you have it. A long and arduous process for what is a very exclusive weapon right now in the Battlefield series. 
Not something that we've seen before. We have seen a crossbow, but we haven't seen a compound bow like this. There is a final stage that you need to do. I will cover that in another video coming later this week, or maybe tomorrow if I can get it out quick enough. I've tried to do these in as quick succession as I can to make sure that you guys can unlock it along the same sort of progress line. But thank you very much for watching today, guys. If you could leave me a positive rating, that'd be great. And leave some comments down below too. I do try and read as many as I can. But thank you very much for watching. My name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.